Large complexes of proteins play critical roles in the cell. Ribosomes, which make proteins, are an example. Crucially, they have to be assembled in a specific three-dimensional structure. This is incredibly complicated. Human ribosomes have 80 proteins and two giant RNA. Without the correct structure, cells have no means to make proteins. There are many pitfalls to assembly of large structures. As in the game of Tetris, assembling the pieces in the wrong order gives a wrong structure. How can large complexes be reliably assembled into the correct structure in cells? We try to answer this question in our recent work published in PRL. We propose that large complex molecules could be assembled in molecular assembly lines. This preserves assembly order by separating the assembly steps in space and then flowing sequentially through those regions. Here's how our idea works. We consider a large droplet with a smaller droplet inside. This arrangement allows the components to be produced in separate volumes with a reaction volume in between. Let's begin by considering only two components that assemble into a complex. Component 1 is from the inner volume, component 2 is from the outer volume. Both components diffuse and meet somewhere in the central volume. This graph shows how the component concentrations vary along the system. The assembly happens where both components meet in a band in this location. Let's now scale this up to more components. The position of the assembly band depends on the component properties, so each component has a different location for its assembly band. As the component from the inner droplet diffuses, it meets the different assembly bands in a specific order, similar to an assembly line in a factory. We show that as long as the bands are well separated, the assembly order is preserved, significantly limiting incorrect assembly. The molecular assembly line could be an effective mechanism to reliably build large complexes of proteins. Thanks for watching, and check out our recent paper at PRL for more info.